Hey, Flats. How you doing? Hey, up, Faz. How you doing, mate? Uh, I've got a question for you. How do you deal with goal kicking in such brutal, high-pressure situations? Just give me a second. I guess with the practice that you do, you try and enjoy the pressure. Take it back to kicking in the park. You're a man of very few words, I mean, very poignant words, just not very many of them. Anyway, got a dash. Hello? It turns out I talk quite a lot and I don't listen quite as much. So I've had a nice time with the lads this last little while, but I need more information. So I've got my mate Jason Fox in, who's going to dig a little bit deeper. Hello. Hey, Draco. What's going on? I don't know. How are you, man? Any, any, any clue why we're here? Let's <laughs> move to the wall! Face the wall! Face, Face the wall! wall. Face, Face the wall. wall! Hands on the wall! Head down! Yeah. Left turn! Getting dropped in the final test. <laughs> How did that feel? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> what sacrifices go with committing to rugby, to become an international and a lion. You've got to punish yourself. You've got to be willing to get into a really, really dark place. Places that most people can't, can't get to. They want to, but they can't. Whereas you delve and you dig in, and when you think you've nothing left, you've a bit more in you. It used to go to a point of exhaustion, where you have that little devil on your shoulder telling you to give up, stop, stop. The angel saying, keep going, keep going. You've got more. You're just taking it step by step, second by second. Well, uh, not easy. He knows what he's doing, old Foxy. Have you got any regrets that stem from the Lions tour? Is there anything that you feel that you didn't do that you should have done? Drop pass in 2001 in the third test. They were a man then, should have scored. Easy catch. Not enough was made of it, it was a bad mistake. We were gone. That would have been the difference between winning and losing the series. How did that feel? You'd think there's another chance in the game, didn't come. Think another chance in another tour, didn't come. Gotta live with it, don't you? How did you keep up the image of being rugby's poster boy? <laughs> I I don't know if that's the case. Um, I God. your journey into rugby? Uh, different. Um, I got into it because uh, I lost my sister on the Marchioness Riverboat disaster. Um, tragically, 1989, my life was spiralling out of control. I was making some bad decisions, doing some stupid things. And I realised that I needed to get my life on track. I needed a community, I needed a family, I needed help. So I walked into a rugby club and uh, never looked back really from that moment on. Um, every time I, I walked out on the field, it was about honouring the memory of my sister and bringing my parents closer together. And yeah, so that was, that was the kind of driving factor. And I think when you're driven by something that powerful, um, for me, it was about what was going on in my head and what was going on in my heart, really. What does being a lion mean to you? Uh, being a lion is the pinnacle of your career, to be honest. It's the best of the best. Um, only given to a very few people. I guess for me, I, I, I sort of I read and understood the history and the heritage of what it really meant, sharing not only your abilities technically, but it's about sharing yourself as a, as a human being with everyone else and putting everything you've got into it. If you climb Everest and you get to the top and you're on your own, that's a pretty special feeling. If 
you climb Everest and you the top and you hold hands with all your mates, that's a much better feeling. And that's what it's about. It's about that's that shared sense of success, but doing it together. And that's what I demand from everyone else as well. And I expect that from everyone. God. got a bit more of a feel for what it is to be a lion. The grit, the determination, the sort of, I liken it to being in my old job. There's got to be a bit of mental and physical robustness. There's got to be a bit of flexibility, but it's more than that. I think it's, uh, it's understanding that it's, it's not just about you. It's about the lions. You're a small cog in making something great. I thought you'd get a bit out of those two because they are two particularly special individuals. They are lions who've got it all. I used to think that being a lion was pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I used to think, lads, well done. You've been playing well for a couple of months. You've been picked for a different team, wear a nice red jersey, get a nice trip away, a bit of glory. But it's about more than that. Being a lion's about steel. It's about courage. It's about teamship. It's about adventure. Being a lion, biggest adventure in sport. Yep, yeah. yeah. I think I get it now. Ah, Gatlin. Flat, sorry not to catch you. I hope you had a good few days meeting lions, past and present. Sorry I couldn't give you the call up. But your support back at home means a huge amount. I hope you enjoyed the adventure. All the best and see you soon.